welcome to uh, performance system with apache jmeter uh, session and uh, uh, we are in module 4 like uh, earlier like i thought like uh, in module 4 test execution and module 5 uh, reporting analysis just like clubbed both because uh, both are both are like uh, uh, kind of uh, interlinked right uh, when doing execution itself we are uh, we need to do the html report setup and all so i clubbed both the modules as one module and uh, I appended all those content here so uh, in yesterday session we already uh, see the test plan and its options uh, and how to design the test plan on test scenario T designing the test plan and test plan scenario is nothing but uh, like uh, uh, let's say if uh, for one application if you have multiple scripts right we are adding those to the uh, test plan and uh, we are giving the ramp up multiple users ramp up and uh, the study state the duration how much duration it we want to execute all those stuff and uh, thread group and it options is nothing but like uh, we, we already let me open jmeter See, yeah, we we already see this uh, thread group uh, properties, right? Uh, num how what is the number of users ramp up loop count, and what is the importance of this uh, lifetime? Lifetime uh, specify the thread lifetime is nothing but uh, the duration, how much long duration we need to execute the load test. So all these options we already covered, and adding listeners also we saw right like. Uh, basically it's not recommended but uh, how to add the listeners i showed you like uh, these are the listeners like uh, view results tree aggregate report so if you want to run the load test in uh, ui mode and uh, during test execution itself if you want to monitor the result you need to add uh, the there are a lot of listeners based on your requirement uh, you can add these listeners basically like uh, aggregate uh, report will give you uh, a better picture like uh, these are the uh, metrics we we usually monitor uh, during the load test so if you want to monitor the numbers uh, the reports during the load test you can add this listener otherwise uh, best way will be like uh, so we can uh, do like this we can add one listener called sample data writer Sam, simple simple data writer simple data writer is nothing but uh, it's it stores the results so if you see the view results tree it is also storing the results but uh, the memory consumption of this view results tree will be very high basically the view results tree is very helpful for uh, us while enhancing the script but when it comes to uh, test execution always uh, uh, recommended one is simple data writer. So here we need to give the JTL file. So what else? Okay, simple data writer configuring results in JMeter, generating HTML report. Today we are we are uh, seeing this. So how to run the load test uh, in uh, GUI? It's nothing but like uh, that is load test is nothing but like uh, adding multiple. Uh, scripts under test plan and uh, we need to design the we need to give the thread properties of each individual thread group as per the workload model so he, here i'm giving just simply five users and uh, three iterations why i'm giving three iterations i don't want to see if, if i run load test for one hour the entire session will be uh, this test will run so instead of that uh, otherwise i will do one thing put infinite and uh, here in the specified third group i will give uh, uh, we'll run uh, five minutes of load test five minutes of the load test means uh, how many seconds 300 seconds right okay so he, see here you are seeing some startup delay so this option if you want uh, delay right after starting the load test if you want uh, some 10 seconds of delay once you click on start button right if you give 10 second delay here 
what will happen after 10 seconds the test will start you can see if you de leave default like not if you don't give any value here directly after clicking on run button test will start so let's give 10 seconds here So I am deleting this view registry. As per as per the best practices, we need to delete all the unnecessary things, right? Delete or disable. I will disable for now. Sorry, not this one. So before running the test, let me check uh, all the details. Number of users. Ramp up. We can give five user defined variables i'm giving a fixed uh, think time 2000 milliseconds means two seconds so we'll give pacing also we can give pacing as uh, one second that will give three seconds three seconds means uh, 3000 milliseconds so i already showed you guys how we are defining user defined variables so here we are passing this uh, see this think time this is fixed think time here it is random delay and constant delay here we are given random delay and constant delay as zero why we are giving this zero so in this specific script we are uh, giving fixed think time not giving the random think time if you want if you want to give random think time you can give uh, the constant delay as minimum and uh, maximum will be like uh, whatever the number we are giving right whatever the max number we want to give the that number minus the min that will be like uh, random delay okay so guys view results tree we have two listeners view results tree is one listener and uh, sample simple data writer is another listener view result view results so it's not view results tree view results table okay let me listener listener where is the listener okay view results tree so what's the basic difference between view results tree and simple data writer first thing is both will uh, create a jtl file the only difference in simple data writer it, it won't show the tree structure and it won't uh, display this uh, browser mode html mode text mode usually while doing scripting it was useful during execution what is the use of that so uh, basically if we use a uh, view results tree it will consume a lot of memory and uh, it may uh, it will be a limitation like uh, if you it stop us to execute more number of users because it consume more memory right if the available heap memory was consuming uh, by view results tree let's say if we have one gb of uh, ram free if you are running load test with this uh, including view results tree debug sampler view results table all these things maybe uh, we can't effectively use those one gb because uh, these listeners will consume lot of memory that's the reason uh, always it, it suggested to disable this all stuff but if really you want to use listener better to go with uh, the simple data writer so, so here what you need to give so here we need to give a file so here uh, guys two things if you simply give this uh, results underscore what is today's date 2022 year month is 09 underscore 13th date right dot jtl okay so if you give uh, 
the relative path we will call this as uh, relative path if we are not specifying any folder uh, structure the directory structure simply we are giving the file name we will call this as uh, relative path so if we give uh, this relative path what will happen by default the jmeter save this uh, jtl file so this jtl file was not created when you start the load test then it will create so if we run the test what will happen it directly create this results file in the bin folder it will create that uh, file here okay so for our understanding purpose i, I am adding another uh, simple data writer listener so uh, just i i'm i would like to explain the concept don't uh, add all this stuff one simple data writer is enough so this simple data writer what will do <clears throat> i will give so for the differentiation purpose a underscore results underscore 2022 underscore date dot gtl right okay so now what i'm doing another thing here i will give uh, How many others? I'm copying this path. Placing over here and slash. Uh, what is the file name here? We are given control C. Control V. So here, th this file name I am giving as B. See, guys, here I am giving complete path. C colon users admin desktop Apache JMeter bin reports. So the, this results file which is having prefix with b b underscore right this will save in this path if we are not giving this absolute path and just simply we are giving file name what it will do it will by default jmeter will save the dot jtl file in uh, bin folder so in real time don't add multiple times i just want to show you if we are giving absolute path where it is storing and if we give a relative path where the jtl file will store so another important thing you, you no need to create the file just you if you give the file name here it will when you start the test uh, the file will be created on the fly and so here if you see right there are two options errors success what it will do so if you click on errors it will save only the error uh, related uh, log in jtl which means like in load runner right we have one option see uh, in runtime settings we have uh, load in load runner runtime settings uh, under log options uh, we have multiple options right uh, like uh, enable data something uh, if any errors are there then only that uh, error related information will be stored in the log user log similarly we have a similar kind of option here if you check this error checkbox only all the failure transactions and respective errors will be there in the jt stored in the jtl file if you select success only pass the transaction related information will store it, it will ignore the errors okay if you won't check anything it will write it will write complete like complete information and here there is a configure option is also there so based on your requirement you can enable or disable this this thing also 
see the label name latencyency uh, url timestamp all this stuff don't worry about this uh, you, you can leave the default options and just i'm, I'm running the test Okay, let me run the test. See guys, observe. Here we given 10 seconds, right? See here, one timer is running. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. So now, now the request got started. After 10 seconds delay, it, it started executing. See, if we enable view results tree during execution, we are able to see the samples, the some green green color or red color uh, icons we are able to see here. And the respective uh, <clears throat> snapshots will be shown here. If you, if you go to simple data writer, we are not having that kind of information. So it will save the space, heap space. It won't consume the heap space. So let's uh, by by meantime meantime when test is running, let me show you guys. See here. So this is the absolute path we have given. We have given two simple data writers. So B underscore results where it was saved in this absolute path it was saving. So let's go to bin. Let me sort out with. Uh, Is this is it created or not? Hands go JTL. Is it saving in the current directory or what? Okay, sorry guys, a small correction here. So this A underscore results underscore 2022. See guys, this was created where JMX file was located. Okay. If we are giving uh, the relative path of uh, JTL file, it was storing in the same directory where JMX file is there. Is it completed or not? Create report. So, as per as per this uh, we are running this for 300 seconds it will be like five minutes it will run till five minutes so if you want to test any application with less load directly you can run the uh, load test in uh, ui mode but when it comes to uh, if you want to run more uh, test with more users, 1000 users, 2000 users, 3000 users, then we need to use CLI mode. And if the system is not capable of handling that much of load, then we need to go for uh, uh, distributed load testing. If you see here, this is the, so during load test, we need to monitor the test guys. See, if you see here, if you see the error percentage, there is one transaction getting failed, 50%. 50% means 
out of uh, 62 times 31 times it was failed 50% wins uh, that one so if you see this uh, till login it was 70 only 72 if you see after that login we are getting only 36 why we are getting 36 so we are using error handling right action to be taken after sample error here we have given if if anything is failed it need to go to next iteration it won't go to next transaction definitely it will start again the <clears throat> once uh, this was failed here right so here it was failed after failing again it need to start with the launch that is the meaning of this option so test got stopped so once test was completed you can see here the jtl file right it was created some uh, if you open this JTL file, it will be something like uh, this format. Here it is giving first uh, row is elapsed at time. It will be something like CSV file. Response code, response message, thread group, success, failure message, all this stuff will be there. So if you, <laughs> Once test was executed, if you open this file, it will be difficult for identify. Like uh, the look and feel is not good. So in in the recent versions, the latest versions of uh, JMeter, I think uh, I didn't remember the version exactly. Earlier, when we are using uh, uh, two or three version JMeter two or three version, we don't have the J HTML. Uh, report generation along with the uh, jmeter earlier we used to do with the help of some ant script or something uh, we are using some another third party uh, stuff like uh, with the help of ant i think uh, we are generating reports but uh, nowadays uh, if you go to options there is options or tools in the tools we have an option called generate html report You need to click here so it will open a pop-up like this it will ask us for results file the results file will be like either csv or jtl and it is asking us the user dot properties file user dot properties file is nothing but uh, there is a file called user dot property file in the bin folder of jmeter an output directory here we need to give the output directory where we need to store the results okay so first we'll check see this is the one of the results file you can take any one just for your understanding purpose i uh, told you so there is another results file stored here our uh, reports the reports also like 264 kb both files are same maybe based on the path right in the reports maybe it will give the path and uh, that's the reason it is uh, there is slight uh, variation in size but both will give the same results we can, you can pick anything anyone so uh, let's pick this uh, report folder so this is the file right like to browse reports okay. user dot property file click on browse go to bin in bin you can see there is one file called user dot properties browse that file and here it is asking for output directory what we can do we can give reports So wherever we selected the output directory, it will store that HTML report. So here I'm clicking on 
let me do one thing. I'll create one folder. Uh, results underscore two zero two two score zero nine underscore thirteen. What I will do, I will move this to JTL file to this folder. And I will change this reports results. So property file no need to change. Output directory also I'm giving uh, this. So here click on generate report. See here uh, we are getting generate report like it was processing the report in the back end. Once it was completed, we will get some pop up or successful message kind of thing. Okay, okay, it is throwing some other actually it is expecting some It should empty I think okay What we can do Okay Here we create another folder called TML report. So it is the output directory, it is expecting empty folder. Maybe they have written some rules like uh, they need a empty folder. Okay, now I'm clicking on generate report and generating report. See here we got repo created some message we got and here here also we got a, some green color tick mark saying report uh, generate report like option. Just close this and go to that folder. Go to HTML uh, reports. You can see right some content was uh, generated just now. See at nine five it was generated. So you can see the index.html. If you open this index.html, it will open this report in a very beautiful format. See guys, it is showing the statistics in a very good theoretical report, like the table format it is giving us. See, this is the transactions, the number of count, <clears throat> and uh, this is the error percentage. You can see, right? Error percentage. So if you go down here, you can see, right? The login transaction got failed. The login transaction login failed. You can see. So here we have uh, some charts. So if you want, you can save these images when you are publishing the reports, right? You can attach all these uh, snapshots, response times. 90 percentile, 95 percentile, 99 percentile, min, max, medium. So it is a active threads over time. Like how many, like uh, based on the time interval, how many threads are active? It is giving the throughput. 
over time. Latencyencyency latency is graph. So all of the graphs may not require, but uh, like if you see the important graphs like uh, response times, th these graphs are very important. And here there are some other graphs over time. These are custom graphs seems we don't have any information. So like this, uh, we get like uh, the test start time and time and uh, Here you can see pass fail percentage. Fail percentage is 4%. Pass percentage is 95%. And here it will give the response time for each and every transaction. Like this, uh, we'll get. This is all about uh, uh, running the test execution in UI mode and uh, configuring a JTL file. And with the help of uh, once the JTL file test was completed, we'll get the JTL file. Right? And with the help of the JTL file, like this, uh, with the JMeter uh, under tools, we have a generate HTML report option. With the help of this option, we can create the HTML report. It, it, the look and feel is very beautiful. So the same thing uh, we can uh, the load test execution. We can also do it in uh, GUI mode sorry, non-GUI mode, which is called CLI mode. I will show you. So to execute load test uh, in CLI mode, we have a couple of uh, commands. We'll see that. Uh, any questions uh, before moving to CLI mode? No, no. OK. The, the CLI mode is more important. The UI, anyhow, the UI mode is uh, as similar as running the script. There is no uh, challenges. The only thing you need to know is how to configure the this file. Always uh, it recommended to use simple data writer to save the to configure the JTL file. Once JTL file was created with the help of uh, this HTML report generate. HTML report option, we can uh, generate the HTML. So let's close this. So when you're running uh, CLI mode, uh, it's recommended to close the UI. Why to unnecessarily consume the heap? So um, again, I'm taking the same uh, script to execute in uh, CLI mode. So to run the script in CLA mode, open command prompt first. Okay, so now you need to go to bin directory of Apache JMeter. So I hope you guys already know how to uh, go the basic uh, command os commands. Desktop and JJ meter bin. So, like this, we need to go to bin director. So, this is one option. Like this, we can go. Otherwise, in UI, you, you can open this folder, go to bin folder. Okay. After that, click on this uh, address bar and type CMD and click on enter. It will open command prompt directly with that uh, director. So if you are already aware of this, well and good. Otherwise, you can follow, like uh, go to bin directory, type the CMD, CMD in address bar and click on enter. Directly, it will open uh, this here. Is it visible, guys? I just a little bit zoomed. Yes, yes. Okay. So to execute uh, load test, right? There is a command called 
J meter. We need to type J meter space hyphen n space hyphen t space. We need to give the JMX file path here. So here we need to give the absolute path of uh, JMX file. How can you get the absolute path? Go to scripts. This is the absolute path. Okay, J meter space hyphen N space hyphen T space. We need to give the complete uh, absolute path of JTL file. So in this folder, the name will be. This is our. Uh, absolute path of jmx file so after this you need to give so so see guys uh, after if you click on enter what it will do it will run the load test but it won't uh, save the results file if you want to save the results file what you need to do space so i forgot to tell you one thing guys so let me open the script. So I already told you uh, before running uh, the scripts, always it's recommended to disable all the listeners because we are not running in uh, UI mode, right? So why to waste the space, heap space? So go to this, you can disable all this stuff. Okay, you can disable or you can uh, delete. Just I disabled the, those uh, unnecessary listeners and uh, saved. Okay, so if if you simply execute this uh, command, J meter space hyphen n space hyphen t space c. Uh, this we are giving the complete uh, JMX file, and if you click on enter, test will run, but a report won't save. So to to save the report, we need to give another line like hyphen l space. We need to give the absolute path of the results file. So. What we can do, to bin reports, here what I will do, I will do, I will create one folder, cli underscore report underscore today's date. 30. So th this is the previous folder. The results underscore today's date is uh, the results folder for uh, the UI report. CA underscore report underscore today's date is nothing but CLI. Like uh, currently we are planning to execute this one, right? So copy this path. And in this path, we need to give we need to give the JTL file. So we can uh, give the JTL file report here. C 
CLA underscore RAP or the report underscore two zero double two score zero nine underscore thirteen dot JTL. So see guys J meter space hyphen n hyphen t space and next we are giving up to here it was the jmx file path okay after this is another attribute hyphen l and next to hyphen l we are giving this absolute path of jtl file now if you click on enter will happen Let me open one more time. Okay, it got started. See, you can uh, see this message, right? Creating summarizer. Created the tree successfully using this one. Starting standalone test. This is the start time. So test, test was running in the back end. See here uh, under uh, this uh, CLI reports, 
one file got created dot dot jtl it will run for 5 minutes guys so in ui mode if you want to stop the test right you have option to stop there is some red color button called stop if you want to stop uh, the test in uh, non ga mode what what you need to do we don't have any control right the test is running we want to stop the test how can we how can we stop the test meantime we will see the stuff like uh, the test is running in the background so if you go to bin uh, bin directory here you can see stop test.cmd if you want to stop the test which is running in cli mode you need to click on this uh, stop test.cmd i am not uh, clicking on this one because maybe you can try from your end uh, when you are practicing if i click on this uh, this test will stop currently test is running right so this stop test and there is another called shutdown so shutdown if you click on shutdown it will be like a graceful gradually it will stop if you click on stop test immediately like uh, whatever the uh, thread groups or threads running it will stop those immediately so these two are uh, two options you can go with always uh, better like a graceful shutdown like uh, you can go with shutdown.cmd anyone you can use but uh, just for information purpose i'm telling this dot cmd these two options we'll use in uh, windows and uh, shutdown.sh and uh, stop.sh we'll use in uh, linux and mac so once test was completed we will get the similar kind of message saying that uh, this is the start time right similarly we will get uh, stopping uh, test at uh, the end end uh, time of the test Hello. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Uh, Jmeter iPhone and iPhone T iPhone R. Is there any abbreviations? Yes. Yes. We have. Uh, we have that. Maybe you can refer this one. Uh,
ఇంటర్ఫేస్ట్ so anil uh, my requirement is to create one folder what i will do i will do a right click go to new and uh, click on folder you can see one folder is created here if you want to give uh, folder name as abc you need to give abc and click on enter so abc folder got created okay so whatever the operation we done we are doing in gui mode in in windows graphical user interface mode we are doing we are creating a folder so my require uh, so the same thing we can do with the help of uh, so we created abc right so i want to create some xyz folder so uh, okay i will open another command prompt so whatever the folder creation we done using graphical user interface we can do the same using command prompt command prompt through whatever the operation we are doing through command prompt is non gui mode with the help of commands we can do if you if you see i don't know whether you are aware or not uh, if you if you see the linux uh, operating system all will be like uh, most of the stuff uh, will do in uh, with the help of commands so See, this is the commands for uh, creating folder in windows mkdir so what i'm trying to do is so in windows if you want to go to so currently i am in desktop right i am in desktop I, if you want to go to delete folder what i will do i will click on delete folder so that i can go to delete folder so in command line to go to any folder what is the option we have option like cd space cd means change directory so desktop cd space desktop slash delete if you click on enter what it will do earlier it was in admin folder now to enter into desktop folder which is in admin folder we need to give cd space desktop and if you want to go to delete also you can put slash delete and uh, if you click on enter we we have enter into the delete folder so here what i am i am doing is 
m k d i r this is a command for windows dos command uh, to create folder m k d i r x y z which means we are instructing command command line command prompt to create a directory x y z in delete folder i'm clicking on enter you can see here xyz folder was created who created this folder i only created but with the help of cli command line interface with the help of this command 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 prompt i created so basically if you if you compare this with the jmeter if you want to create with uh, this abc you need uh, some user interface how you how this user interface will come if you install uh, windows 10 or windows xp now xp is not there windows 10 windows 11 if there is any operating system which is nothing but a software installed in your uh, system then only you can create this abc folder in ui so if you don't have operating system also windows 10 operating system also you can create this folder xyz with the help of command prompt so if you want to install uh, this uh, operating system you need lot of uh, memory you need uh, some physical uh, hard hard disk space required you need ram all this stuff but if you want to create xyz folder with the help of command prompt uh, dos prompt still you need ram and hard disk but that much memory is not required if you install windows 10 os it will consume at least uh, 2 2 gb of uh, not 2 gb if you see i think uh, as per my knowledge like at least it will take uh, some 20 gb for os itself so without os also you can create this folder similarly if you want to run the load test with the jmeter you need jmeter gui jmeter ui to be opened and you need to run the test when you open the jmeter ui it will consume lot of memory because there are lot of uh, samplers are there lot of listeners are there lot of uh, assertions are there all this will consume the memory so to avoid that uh, consumption high consumption of memory we are up, we are using this uh, approach called uh, cli mode okay see you guys now test got completed sometimes uh, what will uh, so anil is it clear the difference between cli mode and uh, gui mode yeah it's very clear thank you okay anil so uh, see guys i think the test got completed uh, long back but it's not uh, showing this message why because sometimes uh, the cli mode what will it will it will be uh, won't give response in such cases you can click on enter so that it will uh, give this uh, response if you see the test got completed before 1 minute after clicking on enter it it is uh, giving this uh, result see when test got started we will get this uh, start time starting stand alone test and after completion of test you will get this this is the end time and uh, you can see end of the run okay now go to our folder here is our folder in bin reports in report cli underscore report underscore today state see here we have jtl file got created okay so how to so now we uh, we saw how to run the test in cli mode and how to configure the jtl file we, we also covered that part so with the help of cli mode we can so once this jtl file was created with the help of ui we can create the html report and we have 
option in uh, CLI mode to generate report as well. We'll see how to generate the report. The, uh, for generating report, the command will be like uh, J meter space V hyphen G space. We need to give the JTL file path. Where is the JTL file path? This is the JTL file, right? So here the paste that part to paste the command prompt. What is the what is the control V won't work? I think oh, it's working control V work or if you right click also it will paste. So J meter space hyphen G space the path of the JTL file followed by we need to give space and we need to give the there is another attribute called hyphen wo sorry not zero wo we need to give the destination directory here i will give one more uh, See guys, J meter space hyphen G space. We need to give the complete uh, absolute path of uh, JTL file space hyphen O space. We need to give the output directory where we need to save the HTML file. So better to uh, maintain an empty folder of this. Uh, so click on enter. was happening Okay. See, it was created under CLI report underscore today's date folder. If you go to CLI HTML report, you can see this was created, which is almost same. See, this is the HTML report. See, you are seeing some failures. Why you are seeing some failures? It is a login failure. Maybe it might be due to see intentionally I place these errors also to show the errors. I have placed this. If you go to bin scripts folder, which is the script we executed as 03, right? If you see here, J2EE is a admin user it won't uh, expire so ken1 ken1 this is the invalid user which is not uh, currently uh, like if you want to use this user we may need to register again that, that's the reason we are getting 50 percent of the failure rate in html report see you can see 50 percent of the failures See, this is the total number and this is the fail count. 
this is this is not pass count this is total which which uh, the sample count is nothing but total pass plus fail so like this uh, we can uh, generate the you can execute the load test in cli mode you can generate the jtl file and also we can generate the html uh, ss so and if you want you can merge this two in a single command you can uh, run the load test and uh, you can uh, also generate the html file also but uh, i won't suggest that approach better first you will execute the test and uh, with the help with the help of jmeter J, uh, jtl file jtl is nothing but jmeter uh, test results file jmeter test log i think so any questions uh, guys uh, in uh, this today's session execution in gui mode execution in uh, cli mode and how to configure the results in uh, ui mode also in cli mode and generation of html report in ui mode generation of html report in cli mode uh, report and analysis like uh, during test execution usually we will run a test execution for one hour right so monitoring is done nothing but like uh, during load test uh, we will see how much uh, uh, pass percentage failure rate error rate is there any high response times if you see this one right is it closed See, these are the response times, right? See, if you see this, click on my orders. It is taking very high, uh, 1,138 milliseconds. Rest all transactions are like uh, only three digits and it is going for four digits. During load test, you need to monitor the test and uh, sometimes uh, what they will do like developers and uh, the db people also will join the call during load test and we may need to uh, intimate these kind of uh, observations to them they, they will monitor in the back end especially for these transactions is anything going wrong uh, this kind of uh, uh, monitoring we need to do during the load test analysis is nothing but once the test was completed we will give we will analyze what is the total number of transactions whether it was achieved as per the workload model or not how many transactions got failed how many transactions got degraded what is the min max and if anything is failed why what could be the reason what could be the reason why it is failing this kind of information we need to uh, give to the uh, respective stakeholders whether it's a business team or application team so that is all about analysis and monitoring so today are we uh, done with this module 4 any questions if you don't have any questions okay if you don't have any questions uh, we'll end up this session for today and see you tomorrow Okay, thank you.